So, uh, what are we gonna do tonight, OCG? Why, the same thing we tried to do every night, but take over the world. I mean, uh, Twitch, uh, take over Twitch. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome once again to Obsessive Compulsive Gaming. I am the Obsessive Compulsive Gamer, joined once again by my faithful manservant slash Bucktotem Bertram, and this is my review for Vera Black, Ghost in the Castle. Now my friends, Vera Black, Ghost in the Castle was originally released in 2010 for mobile phone telecommunication ding and bob things. But today I am reviewing the PlayStation 4 version that released this very year. And it certainly looks like a mobile game from 11 years ago. That is, it looks and plays like utter ass. Let's talk about it, shall we? This is a sequel to Vera Black Full Moon. A game, and I use the term game loosely, that I have already reviewed. So, if you have not watched that review yet, then you're dead to me. Yes, now, yet again, this is a novel of the visual kind. Or... A visual novel, if you will. But don't get too excited by the word novel. Charles Dickens, this most certainly is not. Hmm. I, I should probably pick someone more current. Someone who isn't dead. Let's see. Uh, Arthur Conan Doyle. No, no, he's dead. Uh, Robert Louis Stevenson. No. No, he's definitely dead. Ah, uh, J.K. Rowling. I wish she was dead. Ah, uh, where was I? Oh, yes. Ah, uh, but don't get too excited by the word novel. Stephen King. This most certainly is not. Success. I remember a time when reading simply meant looking at the pictures and making up your own story. Granted, there isn't much story in an issue of Playboy, but uh, still, this is like no comic I have ever read. For a start, you read it from left to right instead of right to left. There's no Japanese girls or explicit nudity. Hentai. It's it's a joke about hentai. Now once again we follow Vera Blank and I can sum her up in five words. Blonde, detective, psychic, wonderful knockers. Nope. Actually that should be six words because she has two knockers. Before discovering she had the power to read people's minds, Vera, or Vera if you like, was diagnosed with brain cancer and given only six months to live. How I wish that was true, then I wouldn't have had to play her two awful video games. I jest, I jest. It's an insult to call these video games. If I was Vera, and I had the power to read people's minds, I would be very worried that every man I met would simply be imagining sexual scenarios in their minds. Maybe she should have thought of this before dressing up in her best whore cosplay. Young lady, absolutely no one is going to take you seriously as a detective. A stripper, on the other hand, though. Hmm. Vera is once again joined by her sidekick, Brandon Mackey, as they investigate supposed sightings of a ghost in Italy. 
A castle, to be precise. Hence, the very subtle title, Ghost in the Castle. I can sum Brandon up in six words. Handsome, sensitive, hung like a horse. I would assume. As I said, this comic book contains no nudity. Sadly. Now, Brandon is the worst sidekick in the history of sidekicks. At one point, Vera tells Brandon to shoot someone, and his excuse for not doing it is that she was beautiful. Never mind the fact that the woman he was supposed to shoot is an evil bitch. But then again, so is my wife. That reminds me, where is my gun? So, how was the story? Well, there's a ghost, an exorcism, a succubus, murder. So, pretty much an average night at Dead and Browns then. Oh, and, and don't get excited by the word ghost in the title of the game. The only thing scary about this game is that some halfwit thought it was a good idea to release it in the era of the PlayStation 5. Scooby-Doo is scarier than this game. What was that, um, what was that chap called? You know, the, uh, the drug addict with the stupid haircut. Uh, sh Shaggy, that's right. He's bloody terrifying. I'm not surprised they never caught any actual ghosts. He was probably shooting up every five bloody seconds. That's your childhood ruined, dear viewer. Oh, and that Velma woman. Yes, she was most definitely a lesbian. Moving swiftly on. So, story. Bollocks. How about the gameplay? Well, you basically move between locations, asking people questions. You can also play mini-games, but like coming home to find Mila Jovovich naked in my bed, I said, screw that. A chap can dream, can't he? Well, how about the visuals? Well, Let's just say this game looks like some art school graduate went crazy with a packet of felt-tip pens. That's markers to you, American chaps. This game is so cheaply produced, I half imagined the ghost would be nothing more than a child standing on another one's shoulders, wearing a bedsheet with holes cut out for eyes. In conclusion, dear viewer, Full Moon was bollocks, and Ghost in the Castle is bollocks. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a pair of bollocks out of ten. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, my review for this terrible bloody game. If you enjoyed this little review of mine, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. If you didn't enjoy it, on the other hand, well then, feel free to give me a thumbs down. Don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, bell button thing. Feel free to jump over to my Twitch channel. But remember the single most important thing I always tell you, dear viewer, and that is to always stay obsessed with gaming. Yes.